Matt, obviously we didn't see the best of US Navy flag in the Everest. On a dry track, we might see something special. Yeah, well, he's a horse who likes to dominate, get out in front, and he just fell out the boxes in the Everest and was never really in contention. He's a very odd horse in some ways because he is a two-year-old over in the UK. He won the Middle Park Stakes over six furlongs, and then he won the Dewhurst over seven furlongs. And in our place, the Dewhurst is the ultimate two-year-old race. All our champions over the years, most of them anyway, have won the Dewhurst as a juvenile. Frankel, with the most obvious example in recent times, but there are other great examples of Dewhurst winners. So, you, you know, you're a good horse usually if you win the Dewhurst, but it was a terrible year that year, and that was why he managed to win the Middle Park. Then he ran over in the Breeders' Cup, uh, US Navy flag. Then he's come back this season and he, they tried to make him into a guineas horse. He wasn't quite up to scratch and he wasn't really doing an awful lot. And he's a little rat of the thing. He's a tiny little horse with no scope. But then he came back to the July Cup, which is our premier sprint over six furlongs, got out in front and he put up a terrific performance once again. What well, this horse is tough. He brings it to the table. He's kind of doing miles more than someone like me ever thought he could do. If he gets out in front of uh, uh, Mooney Valley, and this is a, a, an extraordinary track, as, as I'm sure a lot of New Zealanders know, it's, it's like a little bull ring, effectively. And when you're on the bend, it's a good place to be out in front, hard for horses to quicken past other horses, away from something like the Cox Plate, where obviously uh, Winx comes from off the pace. But in general terms, uh, away from that extraordinary horse, hard to come from off the pace. If he gets out, he's got a good chance. But I think you'll see Ryan Moore... You know, getting the old shillelagh out and giving it one or two whacks out the boxes. Desperate to get the lead. He's got a very good draw to do that from stall two. But again, if he misses it, he's going to get shuffled back behind. And there is a lot of speed in the race. What about the other three of the O'Brien runners? Spirit of Valor, Intelligent Cross and Fleet Review. I mean, they're nothing horses back home. When I say nothing horses, listed horses, group three horses, I mean, US Navy flag is a miles better horse than any of those Again, the one thing I would say about, and, the, and, and, and when I'm talking about any horse that comes from the UK, there are horses, and, and Ben Battle in the Cox Plate may be one of those, that, that run a lot better away from home. And I've no idea why that is. Pace of the race could be one angle. But in sprints, that will be less of the case because they just tend to go hard from the start. But climatized, maybe some horses will enjoy the weather. I don't know what it is, but there are horses that run better. So if this was back home, all these horses would be like 101 shots against US Navy flag. Maybe one of them will say, I love Australia, I love kangaroos, and run really well. Um, but on paper, they've got absolutely zero chance of beating a uh, US Navy flag. Can he win, then? I mean, he can win. He's a multiple Group 1 winner. Will he win? I'd be surprised.